Hello everyone, David Thurman from Mortgage Choice. I wanted to give a quick update on the property market. Uh, over the last 12 months, we've seen the market soften a bit, uh, probably eight to 12% uh, that the market's come back. So the houses that were selling for $600,000 uh, 12 months ago, you're looking more like 550 uh, now. So where this comes into play, uh, for those clients that are looking to upgrade their home, uh, so they're uh, looking to sell the existing home and buy a bigger home because the family's getting bigger, uh, they're finding that the house that they're selling is selling for less and it's also taking a lot longer to sell. So we just need to be very careful with um, the numbers that you're working with and making sure that you're very conservative with your estimates uh, so that when we do project and try and get a pre-approval for you um, and get the bank happy with what you want to do, um, that we're using figures that will actually come into play. Um, we, the last thing that we want to do is uh, get you pre-approved and, and base it on a sale price of $600,000 and then you end up selling for a lot less. So it's really important for those clients that are looking to upgrade to come into the office, work through the numbers with this, and we'll make sure that you're set up properly and you're using conservative figures uh, so that we have nothing but happy surprises in the end. Um, now for investors and first home buyers, it's kind of interesting because you're playing in the same market. Uh, you're buying the same um, uh, type of house or the same value of house. You're looking generally between the, the $400,000 mark and the $600,000 mark. Uh, reason being, uh, first home buyers, you get a discount up to $600,000 on your stamp duty. Uh, after $600,000, that discount starts to taper off. Uh, and you also, as a first home buyer, if you're building a house, you get a grant of either $10,000 for a metro property or $20,000 for a, a regional property. So um, for those buyers, it's gonna be an interesting 12 months. Uh, there's been talk about the government getting rid of uh, negative gearing. So depending on who gets in with the upcoming election, if negative gearing goes, um, they have said that it will be viable until uh, July of 2020. After that, it's gonna get cut off. Then I would imagine that there's gonna be a mad rush in the market uh, for clients trying to take advantage of that negative gearing uh, before it goes away. So while the property is quite soft for first home buyers and investors right now, and the prices are quite low and, and achievable, um, I don't think it's gonna last that uh, much longer if they get rid of negative gearing. So you'll likely see an increase in property prices over the next six months if we see them getting rid of it. So if you've got questions about your particular situation or if you wanna have a chat about how this uh, current market might impact you, please give me a call, we'd love to help.